Hey everyone, we're on our way to Gen Con 2015, and I thought I would chronicle this trip through several video clips showing games and people and events that are going on. We're sitting on the plane right now, got my whole family with me over there, Vanessa talking to other people because she's she's a very friendly person, and I'm sure she'll make lots of friends at Gen Con too. So, here we go. Take, to, take some clips in there along the way, share them with everybody, so come along. We just arrived at the Indianapolis, and we this year did something different. We pre-ordered our badges through the mail. We did, and that's the way to do it. Uh, yeah, in the past, it's like, let's enjoy getting in the line with the people all back there and getting the badges, but the lines get really crazy now. So we said, let's just go ahead and pay a little extra money to have the uh, badges sent to us, that's what we did. However, you still have to wait in line to get the uh, coupon book. There's a coupon book every year at Gen Con. Really nice bag this year. It is. I, I feel like it's kind of sort of steampunk, even though maybe it's not. I, I just love the design on there. It it's goes like, through like game boarding history of where it's taking place. Going from Geneva up to Indianapolis today, so that's really cool. There's a nice coupon book inside, but I think the book's really the really cool part. So the bag, the bag. I see the bags. So the exhibit hall is open tomorrow. And so today, everybody's just kind of getting their stuff. There's a lot of people going around the game and working on it. There's a big event over at the zoo tonight. We're going to go check out this while I said tonight, actually, this afternoon. So, if you haven't come to Gen Con, go ahead and pay for having your bad ship. You want to avoid this line. It's the afternoon, and behind me are the main entrances to the large vendor hall. So, this is where all the action happens. Filming this now to show you that. This place is totally empty, but at 10 a.m. on Thursday morning and probably every morning after that, this place will have tens of thousands of people waiting to rush into that hall to get exclusive games that are coming out from all the vendors. Everybody's excited about the sales and the new stuff, and a lot of the games are limited in quantity. So these people want to get in there and get their game first. I want to do this now because tomorrow you won't be able to hear a thing people say as they're crammed in shoulder to shoulder waiting to rush in what we call the calm before the storm. These are the doors that are holding back thousands of people waiting to rush into the vendor hall in order to get their games. Now right now there's a few people that's already in the hall, such as the VIGs, the very important guests, those who paid for early access. And right now they're trying to scoop up some of the games that are in limited quantity, because the thing is, is there are a lot of games that come out of Gen Con that are like so brand new, they're not gonna be out to retail for like another few weeks but they try to get some in here to make sure that they can you know, sell them and promote them as much as possible. So there's some games here limited in numbers, like for example, Blood Rage only has 100 copies. Uh, Wrath of Dragons from Countless Game Labs only has 120. So all those people, thousands of people are gonna be rushing to come in here and try to scoop up those games as fast as possible because probably after a couple hours, they'll be all gone. So let's see what the madness looks like. No, it's gonna be <laughs>
able to attend an event sponsored by Asthma Day, where they're showing off some of the games that's going to be coming out over the next few months. And it's it's probably six, seven, eight different games of all different types, from family type games to heavier games to bluffing deduction games. It's it's a really great way to see what's getting ready to come out and what we're, we get excited about, so that when they start releasing more information about it, we played a little bit. We can talk about it before whatever comes to market. So really great event from Asthma Day. Have you ever even heard of a moon pie? No. Never even heard of a moon pie. Who was willing for the cost of two, two dice, dice, three dice, <laughs> to be able to try moon pie. So he's going to try one oh, now. Three dice? All right. What three dice. Say? Three dice. Go for it. Okay. So here we go. This is exciting. He is now ripped into the wrapper. He recognizes it probably is chocolate on the outside. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, I thought this was caramel. Very observant. Wow. Oh, look, there's marshmallow. Yep, there is marshmallow. Okay. Yes, so he's identifying what is inside the moon pie. <laughs> Always good to identify it before you eat it. Now he's letting the taste wash through his mouth as he dissects each individual flavor of the moon pie. You know what? Okay, uh, maybe I should give him some water to help wash down the taste Oh, gee, wow. Well, look. I'm just kidding. It's actually pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> That was great. Thank you very much. <laughs>
They just turned off the lights. Gen Con is officially over. All the vendors have started taking down their booths. They're elated because it's a long four days. They're all extremely tired. Everyone is shuffling out of the hall. Gen Con 2015 is over, but everybody's extremely excited about Gen Con 2016. If you could make it out this year, try to make it out next year. It's one of those things I think everybody should attend at least once. Thanks. <laughs>